Hello, people of YouTube. This is Gray's Guitars. I am Steve Gray, and thank you for watching. So, the guitologist, Brad Lindsay, got arrested. Or did he? So, a while back, I made a video about asking if he was okay. Um, you can watch that if you'd like. Kind of mixed reviews on that one, but uh, we'll kind of skip past that part. And a lot of people have been commenting on that recently, saying, oh, Brad got arrested for threatening a superintendent, Brad's going to jail, things along those lines. Um, and he actually made a video of it, the guitologist actually made his own video, it's about 15 minutes long, go feel free to watch it if you'd like after this. And uh, kind of explaining the situation, what happened, that no, he is not arrested, however, he does have criminal charges against them. So, sorry for the clickbait title in advance. That's why there's a question mark on the end of it. Um, but no, he did not actually get arrested. He is not currently in jail. He uh, got, I believe it was like um, terroristic threats, something along those lines was one of the charges from what one of the news reporters said, and disorderly conduct. The thing that's going to save him, though, is he filmed a lot of it. So the situation basically that happened was, you know, he, as, as you've, you've probably known before, he is not a fan of the mask mandates. Uh, he is a, has a um, daughter who is on the spectrum, uh, and it is hard for her to distinguish, you know, emotions, facial features, things along those lines based on what he said from his video. Um, and it would be a lot easier for her if she no longer had to wear a mask, if everybody did not have to wear a mask, that way she could figure out what emotions everybody else was giving at that point in time. Uh, so he thought his his concerns were not being met, so he went to go seek out to talk to the superintendent, um, at which point the superintendent felt threatened by him. Uh, something along the lines of, you know, you don't know what I'm capable of, you don't know what I can do, um, and your career is over as you know it. And the way he described it uh, kind of made more sense, but at the same time, I can see where that definitely can be suggested as a threat. Um, they're also talking about how he had a gun on him. Um, I'm not going to go into details where he is, but he is in the United States where that is perfectly le legal uh, if you go through the right channels to have a gun in your vehicle. He did not threaten anybody with the gun. He was asked by a security officer, do you have a gun in the vehicle? He said, yes, I do, but I am not going to do anything with it. It is under my seat and that is where it is going to stay. I am not going to reach for it. I am not going to touch it, uh, which is exactly what he should have said in that situation. Uh, so he is facing some charges. I don't know if whether they're going to be dropped or not uh, based on what he said in the video. Uh, he could be looking up to probably between one and five years of jail time. He does not have a criminal record, so he does definitely has that going for him. I don't know if he is 100% going to get off of it scot-free, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens when he gets his day in court, as he should. Uh, to defend himself, because it is innocent and proven until proven guilty. It is not guilty until proven innocent, and that's how it should be. Uh, without probable cause, it's a lot of he, shed, he said, she said, yeah, because I can speak, he said, she said, there we go, in this situation. And what's going to save him the most is that he actually recorded about 24 minutes of audio going into the school, asking where the superintendent was politely, you know, being a decent human being, trying to get a hold of him. Um, I think a lot of what's happening with the news media on this is they're blowing it out of proportions. You know, you have this clean-cut superintendent-looking guy, and then you got Brad with his big long beard and his long hair. Um, and people don't like that. People have not liked people with long hair and long beards for the longest time. Uh, they always think they're a criminal or they're trying to get out somebody, and that's not always the case. You know, judge a person by their character, not what they look like. I don't care if you got face tattoos. As long as you're a decent person, you're good in my book. But I think that's what's kind of happening. So this, the superintendent has probably been fighting with him before because he kind of, the super, I, don't, I don't know how superintendents are. They're probably just wavering off as, oh, just, you know, another crazy parent. I want nothing to do with this person. And that's probably what happened. The superintendent kept just ignoring him, ignoring him, ignoring him, thinking that eventually he was going to get up, give up. But no, he did not give up because he was concerned for his daughter. So he's being, in this situation, I think he is being a very good parent uh, to his daughter because his concerns are not being met and he wanted them to, to be met. Um, what he did to the situation was probably not good. What he said was probably not good. 
because it's going to be a lot of the school board against him. And typically when somebody threatens a school official, it doesn't really go in their favor most of the time. I can't guarantee that it won't be in his favor and that he won't, you know, get, get off scot-free and nothing happened. You know, kind of a slap on the wrist, don't do it again. Uh, but there is a possibility that something, he, he may end up in jail. There's, I mean, that's, that's just where we're at with the situation. But as I said, he'll have his day in court. Uh, the only thing that he did say that was a little bit concerning, um, because he did a, some interviews with the news stations after they released all of this, he got in contact with them or they got in contact with him to hear his side of the story. Um, and what he said, he said is like, you know, your life as it pertains to your career is over, meaning that he is going to do everything in his ability to get that superintendent fired, to get him out of that position because he is not listening to the concerns of the parents, of the taxpayers, of the people that are paying his salary, which is a little bit of a threat I can definitely see there, but at the same time, you know, it's not like he said, oh, he's going to beat the crap out of you or anything along those lines. That's not what he said. Uh, Brad did not say that. The, the, the thing, though, that he did mention in his own video, um, if you want to timestamp it, I believe it is around the uh, 11 minute and 45 mark. I went back to find that section. Uh, he said he has a large following and he can make this very difficult for you. Um, that I do not like. That can also be perceived as a threat, possibly, which is not good. Uh, and, and you're probably thinking, oh, that doesn't mean anything, blah, 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 blah. But we have seen it happen before. We have seen Rob Chapman specifically threaten to use his audience to cancel people. I believe he even threatened to kill KDH uh, at one point. He was like, can somebody go beat the crap out of this guy? Or something along those lines. So it could definitely be perceived as Brad is going to, you know, say to his 120,000 120, subscribers plus at this point, uh, that, hey, you know, come boycott this school, something along those lines, throw a riot. I don't think he'll actually come out and say it in that exact way, but he could say, hey, I need your help. I want all of you that are in the area to come to the school, boycott the school with me, stop people from getting in. Uh, and it, it could just turn into a giant mess. So I'm hoping he does not go that route. I'm hoping he just, you know, talks with his lawyer, figures out the situation, it de-escalates, and then he goes from there. Based on what the superintendent said, they are sticking to the CDC guidelines. Center for Disease Control, and that's what they have to do. You know, all schools across the entire United States have to still adhere to those guidelines at a federal level. So no matter what the state says, uh, if the federal government is saying, no, this is what you have to do, then the kids are still going to have to wear masks in school, still have to social distance, etc. Whether they can go back full time or whether they do remote or some remote, some, some time in school, kind of like a hybrid learning is the best way to describe it. But um, based on what he said, I mean, I don't really see a problem with it. You know, I, I can definitely see the superintendent, oh, if I, you know, if we, if I blow this up and make a huge deal out of it, he'll go to jail for a couple of years and I won't have to deal with him anymore. And I'll get that bigger and better job. Um, he seems like that type of guy. I mean, I don't know. I've never met the person, but uh, I, I know the type, unfortunately. I, I do know that type of person. And um, when somebody, you know, conflicts with their interests or is trying to do things that they don't like, they'll do everything in their power to stop that person to the ground to get rid of them. And that's kind of what it seems like. Uh, little did this person know that Brad has a large following on YouTube and that can definitely be a problem. But then again, as I said, that can also be conceived as a threat uh, in of itself. So I think that's pretty much where we're going to leave it. I tried to be as unbiased as I could. You know, I, I'm not for or against Brad at this point in time. I don't think what he did was probably the best idea because now he's in a little bit of a pickle, as he mentioned in the video himself. But I think what's just going to happen is we're probably not going to see too many videos from him. Um, if we do, they're probably going to be primarily gear related. Uh, so, you know, what, what, what he does best. I like seeing him work on guitars. I like seeing him work on amps. That's why I subscribed to his channel in the first place, not for all of the political stuff. But um, I know a lot of people were, as I said, commenting on my one video, hey, Brad got arrested, Brad got arrested. Uh, so for the people that don't see his actual video about it, I'm hoping that you see this video about it too. You know, kind of get a third party's opinion 
uh, on the matter. Brad, if you're watching this video, best of luck. Just, you know, keep it cool. Talk to your lawyers. Lay low for a little while. Um, and do what you got to do to fight this thing to the best of your ability and to prove your innocence uh, if you are innocent in the eyes of the court. So we'll just have to wait and see how that whole situation comes out because I know you have watched a few of my videos in the past and I assume you will probably end up watching this one as well. But I think that's where we're going to end this. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, leave a like, and feel free to comment down below what you'd like to see for future music and guitar-related content. Uh, if I have any updates to this story, I will do a go ahead and do a video for you. Um, otherwise, we will just go back to the usual random gear news as I like to do. You probably won't see my beautiful face uh, too much as I'll be recording with my uh, phone from now on because a lot of people complain about my microphone being really crappy with my headset which I agree it is it does sound like an Xbox an old Xbox live microphone so I have one that plugs into my cell phone uh, gives you some better audio quality or I can use the GoPro for the audio quality as well to make the videos sound a little more decent uh, I will eventually make that guitar shim neck video as well. I know a few of you ha are probably wondering, you know, he's been saying he's going to make that guitar shim neck forever. And now here we are, another Saturday or another Tuesday, because I do my videos every Tuesday and every Saturday, two videos a week, and still haven't seen that shim neck video, but uh, we'll, we'll get there. We'll, we'll definitely get there. I'll get the guitar apart. I'll show you how to shim it. And uh, for those of you that want to watch that, um, it'll be up soon enough, uh, hopefully within the next month. Uh, it, it just, when there's so much other guitar news going on, it's like you want to get those videos out because they matter at that specific point of time. As where the shim neck video that I can just kind of put out whenever, you know, that's something that you can watch whenever. It can be on here for four or five years and people will still be watching that video uh, because it's not specific to one specific thing at that specific point in time. Uh, at least that's where I'm coming from anyway, just so you know why it's taking so long. Yet again, thank you for watching and as always... Have a good one.